so this video i'm going to talk about people pleasing it's not your duty to to make everyone happy okay i understand you are, the, you are this empath okay you want to help everyone um you want to be there for everyone you want to do the best that you can which is normal thing for empaths but empaths let me tell you something the reason why you are stuck in toxic and difficult cycles is because you're trying to please people you know there comes a time when you are when it's time for you to think about yourself you know put yourself at the front put yourself first a lot of empaths are codependents okay and again this video is uh, for empaths so i see a lot of times comments people are coming and they are talking about things which are not not uh, connected with empaths this channel is for empaths guys i always tell you this there is things that we on, only empaths understand so if you're not an empath and you're trying to squeeze yourself in the video make your make your situation fit is going to confuse you okay so take your message what you want to take and leave the other things for empaths because there are some things we only understand as empaths to resonate to resonate to resonate with this kind of content you need to under you need to have a certain level of empathy is the only way you can resonate with these videos okay so this channel is breaking empaths free so that being said people pleasing is very common with empaths like i've said as an empath you will find yourself going the extra mile to try to make people happy okay? you want to make everybody happy you want to satisfy everybody around you you want to give and give and you know you want to give until you have nothing left to give there is times when you have to stop and think a little bit about yourself you know stop and reflect a little bit and think about yourself because you're going to burn out empaths you're going to burn out my experience with people pleasing uh, on top of other many experiences there was one incident i remember so i got out of abuse okay i was out of abuse i was uh we had broken away uh, broken away from this narcissist and then i saw there was a family member okay so this was a family member who was actually involved with the narcissist and i thought that there was something i could do to help them okay i thought that oh this is a family member so i can you know I always talk with them and i was there for them and in, in fact to be honest i was there for them okay i was there for them i helped them in those days <clears throat> i'll get more comfortable they are no stalkers here so i got i got very <coughs> concerned about this family member and we uh so i helped this family member those days they are, they are, they are, the family member was going through a discard a narcissistic discard So I was like, well, listen, uh, this person is a narcissist, okay? I've been with these, with these people, I know them, I know how they breathe, I know how they sleep, I know how they talk. So according to your experience, that person is a narcissist. <sighs> so, that family member thought that, oh, well, I, I thought actually that they understood me in that time. I was like, okay, yeah, I think you're right and everything. So we went through some discussions as I was helping them to heal because in that time I was healing. So we share some healing ide ideas, what I do to heal maybe they could copy from me even they copied from me for a while and then eventually before i knew it it was around two three weeks the next time i had a phone conversation the family member was blasting me and the family member was blasting me oh why are you too much into my business you know this is my boyfriend I, it's nothing to do with you so i had become the problem in that time you know so then I realized that uh, I don't need to do this. You know, I don't. Uh, it's not my responsibility. Uh, you know, so you know. Sometimes empaths you carry some baggage that is not even yours. You know, you need to learn to deal with your own problems. You carry baggage which is not yours because you want to please everyone. The family member said that that was not my business. Why was I putting my nose in their in their whatever entanglements and situationship? And before I knew it, they was back with the narcissist. This thing happened the second time. I did the same thing. The same cycle repeated. They went back to the narcissist, and then I was the problem. So this was like a, a cycle, and I figured out this cycle. I was like, wow, okay. Fortunately, 
I had awakened, so of course I knew that this was trauma, some kind of a trauma bond, okay? So, and a lot of cognitive dissonance happening in there, codependence issues and everything, on top of being a golden child. So, I saw it very quickly and I was like, well, now I figured it out. I don't have to deal with this, okay? So, it's not my job, it's not my business. I was like, the best I could do in that time, I was like, just get away and do my own thing. You know what I mean? So, I let, the, I, I let the family member go, okay? I released the family member, I let them go. In good faith, there was no arguments, no fights. I was like, okay, they are, they are still going through their own lessons and I cannot be a part of those lessons. So I got out of this situation and I let them leave. At this moment, I don't know what is happening. Um, I don't know where, where they are in their, on their journey. What are they doing with themselves? I would care less. Now you see, um, a lot of people, especially the black ships, of the family, the reason why you suffer too much and you're tortured in those families is because you think that you can fix everybody, you know? A lot of times you see these family members, they're running to you for support. It may not necessarily be financial support. It could be. Here comes the stalker, I've told you guys before. And what happened really was, um, this was like a case where you used to help everybody. You would give, you would advise, you would support financially, maybe sometimes emotionally, maybe physically. You would do everything for them. But let me tell you something. You can only do enough before you're going to burn out, you know? So that's the reason I was told you hear a lot of these, uh, the family black ships. They're going through So, the black ships of the family, they are going through a lot of hardships uh, in those families because they want to make everybody happy. And those people now, they rely on you because they're like, oh, you know, it's easy. That person is easy. When they have got issues going on with their wives, with their husbands, with their businesses, they're going to run to you. You know, because you're this nice empath and you're this, you know, beautiful soul and they want to use you as much as they can. How can I do this? Where can I put that? How can I do this? How can I paint my car? How can I do this? How can I fix my car? How can I fix my family? How can I do that? You are the one there helping. You are there helping. You are pumping a lot of energy. And who is burning out in the process? You are burning out. I never understand why. I press record, somebody shows up and it's always the same person. For some reason, I don't understand this. You know, when you, the more you awaken, you're going to start um, recognizing a series of repeated events, okay? They're like synchronicities. <laughs> and these are, all, these are things only that, only that awakened people understand, figure out. You're going to see a repeated pattern, you know? Because the matrix is like that, it's a repeated pattern. You see an event uh, reoccur recurring again and again, most likely even the same times, the similar event happening. So the same thing is, you guys have seen it on my video. Sometimes I push, I press record, I come here, everything is okay, press is clear. I press, I press record, they show up. They, they just come out of the blue, out of thin air. I don't even know where they come from. So, Empath, what I'm saying is that the black sheep, you will get burned out. You're going to get burned out with um, that idea of you believing and thinking that you can please everybody. Let the energy go, black sheep, chosen ones. People pleasers, empaths. Stop trying to make other people's problems your problems. The reason why you're suffering and you don't even understand this. I've seen this thing very common with so many empaths. Oh, what can I do? You know, my father, um, my father is sick. And now, now that man you're talking about is sick. That is the man who has been destroying you for the last 20 years of your life even 30 years, depending on how old you are. They are, the, they are the people who have been responsible for your pain for the last 20, 30 years. They have been the nurses in the family. Now they have wired you to think that you're supposed to be continuously supporting them. Oh, now they, have, they need coffee, you go make them a coffee. They need to make their bed, you help them. They need to wash their clothes. Now you're continuing, you're continuously aiding and supporting your abusers. And what really is happening is that now, 
you do not have time to take care of yourself because you're around there supporting your abusers day in day out you're waiting for them to die so that now you can start thinking about yourself now that you can go out and start living there's a lot of time to start out of these black sheep of the family you know there are some of them even they are 50 they are still stuck in those families oh i'm still there uh, you know my sister opened up this shop and i'm the one helping them to sell uh, you know, I'm the one looking after the shop. Sometimes I'm taking care of their children and maybe their pets. My father is, uh, you know, they cannot walk. So I'm the one who is, uh, you know, fixing their whatever. You are fixing and you're fixing. Now you're fixing. There's nothing else left for you to fix. You are killing yourself. This is suicide. Empaths. Do what you can, okay? There's no problem with helping somebody. There's no problem with helping people. But you need to understand, ladies and gentlemen, these people are only using you for a short while. The moment they get back on their feet, they are going to kick you with that same foot. Can I repeat this for you one more time? You are helping your abusers, these so-called toxic parents and narcissists. You are helping them to fix them. Give them medication, give them their tablets, take them to bed, to shower them and all this. The moment they get okay, they get better. They are going to use that same feet to kick you. They are going to kick you with the same feet. So, learn your limits, ladies and gentlemen. Establish very strong boundaries for yourself. You cannot help. The, you cannot help everybody. You can do what you can, and let the let the let the universe do the rest. You know. You did not come here to be some kind of a matter who is supposed to die for other people's sins. You're not Jesus, okay? Get out, save yourself, establish very strong boundaries and stick to your boundaries. When you break your boundaries, you're not going to blame anybody that you're back in those same situations because somebody oversteps you, allowed somebody to overstep your boundaries. So learn how to protect yourself, ladies and gentlemen, and stop that art of people pleasing. It's not going to get you anywhere. So let me know think about this video in the comment section below. You guys do know that I do love and appreciate your support. Book a session, donate or support my channel if you want to. Everything you need, you will find it in the description below. And until then, I'll catch you guys in my next one. There's almost signing out. Much love and blessings. Peace.